Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to use the cruise control and the infotainment screen on the Audi Q3. So in order to start using the cruise control, there is a stick which is given at the on the left side at the back side of the steering wheel. So when you when you pull it in the front you would see there is a, a, a notification that pops up like that and then you can also press the limiter switch to use the limiter speed limiter and then there is a set button so when you press the set button because we are not cruising and the standard speed that it would take is 30 kilometers so it would set the speed at 30 kilometers and then you can also increase using this stick so when you press it once it will go in a step of one kilometer and then when you long press it it will change in a gap of 10 kilometers and also if you want to switch to the cruise control again press the limiter switch and it is back to the cruise control so even for the cruise control it would the it would only set but right now it is active when you pull the stick and if you want to switch off the cruise control then you can just press the the stick push the stick in the back position and then it is deactivated again so the infotainment screen is an 8.8 .8 inch touch screen so the 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 interface is pretty simple like when you when you when you sit down and understand it it's actually very simple you can also watch a detailed review video of this audi q3 by clicking on the pop-up banner out here so the menu options are straight laid down out here so this is the home button so you have the radio you can press that sorry so there's radio there is again if we go back to the home and then media you can uh, check your bluetooth connections so you can add the bluetooth connections from here or there are also other options like the source and then you can press and if your bluetooth connection is added then you can uh, connect your phone again coming back to the main screen again telephone so the telephone if you are connected which is see galaxies of Pitesh, that's my phone so whenever my phone is connected it would show me all the information out here my calls my messages and everything again coming to the main screen there are phone apps there are there is a uh, apple carplay or android currently the android auto isn't available on this car but the apple carplay when you connect it uh, using the bluetooth it will operate so in this car it works like that and there are also other features like my car where you can control the the recirculation if you want the light vision which is your exterior lights how long you want the automatic headlights the entry exit lights when you lock your car the background lighting which is the mood lighting which is pretty much everywhere in the car so you can change the brightness you can change the front doors you know how bright do you want them to light up see you can see the changes there is also doors you can change the brightness for that also so it's a very responsive and very easy to use interface continuing there's also parking it so how the warnings that uh, are usually uh, displayed on the screen or through the the music system that they would you know the beeps and the box that usually go around so that can be changed using this menu there is also driver assist so if you want the speed warning you can change that there's side assist if you want there is also a rest recommendation so if the car thinks that you are tired then it would monitor your your uh, driving pattern and then it would suggest you that you know you should probably take a rest because it may be a little longer than you since uh, since the time you've taken a rest there is also settings and then there is also the steering wheel buttons whatever you want like you know switch the dials which i showed you out here these can be customized and also there is central locking so if you want the central lock only to operate for the driver's door you can do that and also in the central locking if you see it will open the windows and close if you press the lock and the unlock button uh, for a longer time and then it would do that there's also car information that will show you everything in all the information related to the car there's also tire pressure monitoring system there's also the service history that will show and there is also the wiper change position now that is pretty cool because when i press it it will change the position of the wipers it will basically uh, put them in a place where i can replace them and then when i am done replacing them i can press that and the wipers would go back to the normal position that is 
super cool so continuing with other menu options so these are all these options are also on the side so you can go to the radio you can also go to the media you can also go to the telephone so there is also a drop down option for the shortcuts you can access that also there is also you can switch off the screen if you want to and then when you tap it it will come back so there are more finer uh, adjustments that you can do from the settings. So this is the in-depth settings. So there is general, there's date and time, there's measure, the units that uh, you know you want your speed, distance, temperature, consumption, capacity, everything to di display on your screen. There is also the reminder and wireless mobile charging, which feature isn't there on this, but if it's there, it would also remind you about that. There is also the various other information related to your car there is display and brightness so the cockpit dimming is you it's this so it if i change that setting it would brighten the screen or reduce the brightness there's also the virtual cockpit so i can change the two display options which i get and also i can configure what i can display on the screen which i showed you all before like you know the, the various scrolls which i do so in that i can i can select what i want to show the information there is also classic display so when i do the classic display you can see the the dials go sober and the the, the red color reduces but when i go into the sporty mode like the rpm counter after the six and a half thousand mark uh, changes into red color and then there is also red borders around the other dial so you can change that using the virtual cockpit there's mmi which is your multimedia information so it's the brightness for this screen you can change so whenever you this brightness is for the day and also when you switch on the lights at night the headlights then even that brightness can be changed from here there's also acoustic feedback so you can hear that there is also this clicking noise that comes there's also screen cleaning so the screen would go blank and then i can clean my screen and then whenever i'm done i can come back to that screen so there are more options like your language and the keyboard the language whichever you want the keyboard there's also sound settings um sorry there is sound settings so you can change the sound whenever there is something playing it would allow you to do that there is an announcement and the sound so the the various other announcements like your notifications or the warnings or anything that uh, how loud do you want them to be that will also you can control the the volume for that there's system maintenance there's software update and also the factory settings that you can reset pretty much everything from your bluetooth to sound settings to radio to media to telephone to wireless charging every single thing you can change from this option there is also connected device option so if anything is connected using the bluetooth you can uh, change the settings from your the you can add the bluetooth connections from here also and also if you want the bluetooth connections to be visible or invisible or switch off you can do completely that also there is also other uh, settings like your radio for the radio in between if you want any traffic announcements or the dab announcements if you want there is also media so if that uh, the card there is like a normal card that you can put there is also a card out here so if you put that a normal card into the the system and then it would show you out here and then you can you know change the various settings uh, from here and there is also telephone settings because my phone isn't connected so it's not showing me that currently so there is also the contacts so how you want your contacts to be shown on your system and then there is messages again from the system and also from your phone if you are connected there's also notifications so your missed calls your setup wizard and your license related to the car and every other warning uh, that you would see would usually pop up out here and also on the notification screen which is there there's also help so it's like a like a display of usage tips you know so like if uh, you need any help related to the car it will be showing you on the screen so this is pretty much it how to use completely this car and there's also more help in terms of the usage tips you know it's like a manual 
for your car which is stored out here in the car so you can access that from the help button so uh, it's pretty easy to use simple system there is no dial or anything it's just the touch screen with which you can operate this screen and work your way around so that is pretty much it for this video give it a thumbs up if this video was helpful in understanding the basic functioning of the cruise control and also the infotainment system on the audi q3 now if you want to subscribe to my channel then you can click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video Bye-bye and take care.